hot weather over the last few days just happened to coincide with the anniversary of the Great Dayton Flood of 1913. That's when parts of the Miami Valley saw as much as 11 inches of rain over a three day period, resulting in widespread floods. Hundreds of people died and thousands were left homeless. In response, engineers built 55 miles of earthen levees and five soil and concrete dams along the Great Miami River and its tributaries. Those dams are now 100, 101 years old and they've been working harder than ever before. We actually have been seeing more intense and frequent rainfall in the last 50 years than we did in the first. So when you think about how, you know, what that dam is doing, it's having to hold back water, it's having to, um, you know, get wet um, more frequently in the last 50 years. And so, well, uh, we might start to see them aging even more frequently now with those trends and with the trends that we see of more frequent and intense rainfall. Loader says crews are adding reinforced steel to the walls of each dam as they repair and replace the century old concrete.